What is going on, guys? Back out in the garage again. Uh, it's Sunday. It's a little bit warmer today, still cold, but uh, we are gonna turn the car around today. Like I've been mentioning, uh, it's a little bit nicer outside today. Still a little bit crispy, but should be good. So we're gonna have to jack the car up to get it off the rollers and then we'll get the car out and then we'll fire it up and get the car out and we'll do a circle, a walk around and all that good stuff. I still gotta clean up all the mess I made inside, but hopefully, oh yeah, I disconnected the battery. Mm -hmm. So we gotta hook the battery back up and uh, try not to close the door because uh, it's got an aftermarket alarm in it, so it likes to uh, walk. So we'll get the the battery connected here. See the alarm starting to flash. So here we go. So we're gonna disarm the alarm. So hang on. These alarms. There you go. Oh, it's still not working. Oh, I locked it. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna get it, let it run. I'm gonna get it jacked up to get it down, and then we'll. dirty she's pretty dirty so we'll have to get that fixed up and I think I'm gonna take it for a boot down the road and then we'll back it in the garage All right, so we're in the car As you can see she's running we're gonna go for a blast let me put my you might fall here I'll put my seatbelt on and we'll oh, see I'm losing you put my seatbelt on and we'll go around the block Let's back this girl up. Power steering's low apparently.
suck it up. Sometimes we drive our shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Awesome. to the car around the block i had to grab a beer to warm me up it's a little bit chilly out here still but we got the car backed into the garage uh this is the other side of the car seeing as a lot of the people in the video have not seen it so i still have to change this logo to the silver one which i have in the car but this is the the passenger side of the car <laughs> So I'm gonna put my beer on the roof because that's how we roll. And you can see inside the car. I gotta do all the, the trim here, plus the speaker wires are, um, that I was talking about, they're under here. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there's, uh, you can't. But I have a bunch of wiring and stuff underneath the seat for the speakers and stuff. So, uh, and I wanna do the, the rest of the weather stripping on this side. And, uh, yeah, an unfortunate thing is my hood was cracking. It was only about to here. And then over the winter, it cracked farther down. <clears throat> so that's a bit of a bummer. Um, I'm probably going to replace this hood with the steel, uh, good mark two inch cow hood. It's like a steel one. I've had it on my other cars before. Um, this hood is cool because it's different, but I think the amount that it's going to cost to repair it will probably equal the same amount as just getting another hood. So if you guys didn't know, this is a 79 pace car cowl molded into the stock hood. So they've blended it so it fits. So it's cool, but I think we'll have to upgrade. All right. So, but yeah. It's looking pretty good. My my lower intake should be ready this week. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty awesome, right? It's, I think it's gonna look pretty, pretty cool. So, and then with the front end, you can see the Celine kit. It's got some cracks and some chips, you know. Um, I don't know. I might go back to an LX front bumper. I've been debating on doing a Dutch kit. Uh, with my buddy, the infamous project, he's he's remaking them now. So I've thought about getting doing that with the car. I thought about a Celine kit. The last Celine kit didn't uh, it didn't come through. I went and looked at it, and uh, it just it wasn't as nice as I was hoping. So um, we're not going to get that. So my easiest option is to just replace the front bumper because they have molded it in. Just replace the front bumper and paint it and then put the car back to an LX. Uh, the only issue is the Celine spoiler. So I don't like the LX bumper with the Celine spoiler. So we'll see, and then we'll go from there. All right guys, so I just wanted to do a quick video, turn the car around. Um, another major, a little bit of a spin across the, around the block. Um, the suspension from when I changed the springs from these springs and the stock struts it has koib struts in it now and i've i have their still stock springs but i've cut them so this is one and a half coil cut and she sits nice and she actually rides pretty decent down the road where before i had it way too low and the car was on the bump stops and it was bad and it was rubbing a bit so you know as far as stance it's pretty good we'll see how it uh, turns out when I get the alignment, because it does need an alignment. Um, and uh, yeah, it should be good. We'll get the radio done, but she's looking pretty good. You know, it's starting to get warmer. So everybody's getting the itch to get their cars out. So this car, I still have to get it safety for the road. Um, it has a temporary sticker on it now. Uh, which is expired from last year. So I have to do a safety and then I have to purchase our sticker because we have yearly stickers that we have to put on our plates, I think like most 
cities have now. Um, but other than that, get the radio in, um, and we're rolling. Change the intake hopefully next week when I'm on vacation. And uh, yeah, this should be pretty good to go. So till next video, have a nice day.